I've supported myself as a writer and an actor uh, for the last four years. So that I'm pretty proud of. It's been hard. It's been very, very hard. Uh, there are times when, there are months, actually several months, where I think, oh God, I'm not going to be able to pay my health insurance. I'm not going to be able to make my car insurance payment or I owe this bill. But then I realize, really, it's just money and I'll dig it. I, will, I will have more money next month. I first heard about the FAM being used in modern times in an article I read on birth control throughout the 19th and 20th centuries. When I read about it in this article, the way that the author talked about it, and it, she made it very easy to understand. It was very simple, and all it boiled down to was just knowing your body. And that really stuck with me, and when I decided to pursue alternate methods of birth control, that was the first thing that popped in my mind because I was I didn't want to use the pill anymore, I didn't want to rely on condoms anymore, I didn't want to use sperm sides or any of that anymore. So reading that article, it was like a light went on in my head. Like, oh, this I can do this. When I started to use the FAM, I spent the better part of a year tracking my cycles, the changes in my body, everything from back aches to breaking out, to how greasy my skin and hair felt, to cervical mucus, everything. I kept very detailed track of this. During the year I was charting my cycles before I started using the FAM, I relied on condoms and spermicide. And even though I, even though I, at halfway through the year, I was figuring out when my safe and unsafe days were, I still relied on that because I wanted to get as accurate a chart as possible. Just because you can't have sex doesn't mean doesn't mean that you and your partner can't be together. You get creative. I mean, it doesn't mean you abstain for those 10, 11 days. There's nothing wrong with oral sex, um, messing around with your boyfriend or your partner. It doesn't mean sexless, basically. When you rely on your own body to make sure you don't get pregnant. You rely on your own body to tell you, well, I'm getting sick today, or my muscles sore, perhaps I should rest this. You know, it really, it, I take better care of myself because of this, just in general, not even in terms of birth control, just health in general, keeping healthy, eating better, uh, getting more sleep when I need it. Because all of those staying healthy is really, to me, it's really integral to, for the fam to be, to work is you have to stay healthy because you need your body to be as consistent as humanly possible. My name is Rachel, I'm 26 and I use the fertility awareness method.